Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing this fun makeup look. It's going to be a voiceover tutorial. I haven't done one of those in a little bit. And I kind of just wanted to sit down and play with makeup without like talking through the whole thing. I wanted to play with some of ColourPop's newest stuff. ColourPop has really been killing it lately with their eyeshadow palettes and like their liquid eyeshadows and lipsticks and stuff. So I just really wanted to play around with their new stuff. But let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. So I'm first gonna start off by tying up my hair and getting it out of my face, and then I'm gonna start with my brows. I'm using the IT Cosmetics Universal Brow Pencil in Taupe, which is one of my favorite brow pencils. I usually prefer the mini brow pencil over this larger angled brow pencil, but both of them are still really good. And then taking the e.l.f. Camo Concealer in Light Sand, I'm going to take a small concealer brush and carve out my brows just to make them look a little bit more neat because I went a little crazy with the filling in. And then taking the Hourglass Arch Brow Volumizing Gel in Blonde, I'm just going to go over my brow hairs to keep them nice and in place. And then to start on my eyes, I'm taking that e.l.f. concealer and putting that on my eyelids as a primer and just blending it in with my finger. And then I'm going to set that concealer with the Lawless Cosmetics Seal the Deal Loose Setting Powder just with a fluffy crease brush. And then I'm going in with the ColourPop Strawberry Shake Palette and starting with that color called Woke. And I'm just taking that crease brush and putting that into my crease and a little bit on my lid and just building it up to a nice deeper pink. And then with the color Daiquiri and a smaller crease brush, I'm going to work that more into the crease and focusing on my inner and outer corners. I'm going to do kind of a halo eye look today and I'm really building up this color. Next, taking the ColourPop Jelly Much Shadow in No Rest for the Vivid, I'm going to take some of that on a concealer brush again and pop it onto the center of my lid and then blend it out with my fingertips. This is such a pretty shadow and such a weird consistency, but it works really, really well with dry shadows. And then taking the shade Delish and putting that right on the center just to give it a nice gradient effect. And then for winged eyeliner, I'm going to use the Nabla Cosmetics Serial Liner in black. And this is a really, really good liner. I need to start using it more. It's very, very black and matte, which is really nice and hard to find sometimes with liquid liners. And then taking the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Liner in Disco Daydream and I'm just placing that right on top of the black winged eyeliner and I feel like I definitely could have skipped this step but whatever. And then coating my lashes with some mascara. I'm using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And then adding some fake lashes. I'm using the Ardell Double 113s. Then moving on to the face, I'm going to be taking the LA Girl Luminous Glow Skin Illuminator as a primer. I just want it to look really glowy for this look. And then taking some of that concealer and putting it on my T-zone, basically just under my eyes, on my chin and forehead. And then I actually didn't use a beauty blender this whole look. Are you guys proud of me? I'm using this buffer brush from LA Girl Cosmetics and it actually worked out really, really well. And then to add some contour, I'm taking the CYO Sweep Into Shape Contour Stick and I'm just putting that on the outsides of my face and using that same LA Girl brush, I'm just going to blend that out. How 
promise you every single day when I see you on those streets. Oh, love, tell me there's a river I could swim that will bring you back to me. Cause I don't know why to love someone else. I don't know why to forget your face. Oh, love, God, I'm in Then for blush, I'm using the Color Plop. Plop. ColourPop blush sticks in Mini Me, and this is like my new favorite product right now. I have never really been into cream blushes, but this just really makes me happy. I love it so much. And then taking the ColourPop Light Sticks Highlighter in Star Bright, I'm just gonna put that on the high points of my face and blend it out with the same brush. I just love how these two products have been looking. I've been using them in like every single one of my tutorials lately. I just love them a lot. And then taking some of that setting powder again and I'm just going to focus this right under my eyes and kind of just like on my T-zone area in the middle of my face. I don't really want to drag it out too much and look super matte. I want to look nice and glowy. And then to add a little bit more highlight, I'm taking the Nabla Cosmetics Glow Trip Highlighter in Crown and just adding that to where I put the cream highlighter. And then taking the Iconic London Prep Set and Glow Spray and just setting my face. And then to finish off the eyes, I'm going to take the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-On Pencil in Viper. And I'm going to tight line my, or waterline my eyes with that. And then I'm going to finish off the eyeshadow just using those two pink shades that I used before. And putting that right underneath my lash line and really blending it out. And then taking the ColourPop Jelly Much Shadow in Origami, and I'm going to add this yellow color to the inner corners of my eyes. I just wanted a little bit more of a color difference in the look. And then coating my lashes with some more mascara, and then finishing off the look with some Nabla Cosmetics lipstick. And this is in the shade Lover's Sleep, and then I'm going to top that off with some Becca Cosmetics Glow Gloss in the shade Opal. Okay everyone, that is it for this makeup tutorial. I hope that you guys liked it and let me know if you like voiceover tutorials or me talking through them better. I really don't prefer one over the other, like I like doing both of them, but let me know what you like. But yeah, that is pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and I will catch you in my next video. Bye guys. Miss you every single day when I see you on those streets.